Pakistan Air Force chief has requested Lockheed Martin to donate TPS-77 long-range radars, after three of six such radars were destroyed by the Indian Air Force. Pakistan's ISPR has imposed a strict gag order on Pakistani media outlets, and has barred any coverage of the damage to 11 Pakistani air bases hit by Indian Scalp and Brahmos missiles. Pakistan Air Force engaged three private satellite firms to assess damage at an Indian Air Force base, but with no impact found, the embarrassed Pakistan military quietly shelved the reports. The Indian Navy is all set to issue the request for proposal for the construction of seven next-generation frigates under Project 17B worth 70,000 crore rupees. Indian Army's 1st Regiment of the 155mm 52 caliber at Aigstod Howitzer will be operational by February 2027. The DRDO developed 155mm 52 caliber at Aigs mounted gun system has started user trials with the Indian Army, and the Army plans to procure a total of 814 units. It has a strike range of 45 km, and can fire 6 rounds per minute, and it can also transition from mobility mode to firing position in just 80 seconds, and back to mobility mode in 85 seconds. The Defense Secretary has confirmed, that the development contract for AMCA prototypes will be awarded within 3 to 6 months, and the aim is to roll out the first prototype by 2028, and first flight by 2029 with full development trials complete by 2034, and production from 2035. Hal Chief has said, Hindustan Aeronautics will invest 4,000 crore rupees from internal funds to develop the Indian multi-role helicopter, and Hal aims for a first flight by 2028, and induction by 2032. Hal Chief has said, that if the 97 Tejas Mark 1A deal is finalized by end of 2025, Hindustan Aeronautics will start deliveries from 2029, and will complete deliveries by 2031. The RDO and Sagar Defense are developing cutting-edge submarine-launched underwater swarm drones, that can be launched from torpedo tubes while submerged, and will travel underwater before surfacing and transitioning into flight. It will have an endurance of over one hour, and a range of more than 20 kilometers, that will extend submarines intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities while preserving stealth. In a strategic shift, the Indian Navy has decided that the two nuclear attack submarines cleared under Project 77 will be armed with BrahMos-2 long-range hypersonic cruise missiles, that will offer strike ranges of 1,500 to 2,000 km, enabling launches from safe standoff distances. After promising to deliver two F-404 engines per month from July, US engine manufacturer General Electric has said, that it will deliver two F-404 engines per month by August 2025, and 17 engines will be delivered by March 2026. Military analysts have warned, that the Tejas Mark II project cannot afford the kind of delays currently affecting the Tejas Mark I-A, as the Mark II variant is far more critical, which is set to replace Mirage 2000 Jaguar and MiG-29. They also said, Apart from the F-414 deal with US, India must explore alternatives like the Russian RD-93MA engine and France's M-88 T-Rex as modified options or co-development bases, and avoid reliance on a single supplier to safeguard India's strategic autonomy. The Indian Air Force is considering to induct the BM-4 missile, that has a range of 1,500 km, carries a 500 kg conventional warhead, and integrates a common hypersonic glide body, that enables speeds over Mach 5 and terminal maneuvers to evade missile defenses. It is designed for precision strikes on high-value targets such as airbases missile launchers command centers, and time-sensitive targets like multiple launch rocket systems and SAM batteries. Today's Top 3 Comments